Hello. Hopefully you've, uh, you've uh, enjoyed my previous videos on the uh, index pick and place machine. And uh, today I thought it'd be interesting to actually fire this one up and get it moving under its own steam. In front of you, under the rat's nest of cables, you can see an old uh, 3D printer motherboard. This one's uh, like a ramp style board. And uh, it's just pl plugged into the various end stops and the uh, motors on the index pick and place. So hopefully, if we uh, home this device, it'll go through its motions and hit all the end stops. So this looks really slow, but um, seems to be working in the right direction. Great, so that's that's the index actually home to the uh, front left position and um, everything's back at zero. And now what I'm going to do is run some G-code through it to put it through its paces and uh, move the head around to various locations. Okay, so it's doing a homing sequence again. It's moving the Z, Z gantry much quicker this time. The speed's pretty good, but it's definitely making a squeaking noise. These uh, steppers are very noisy uh, off this old uh, ramps board. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a, a creaking sort of noise off the uh, metal gantries. Okay, so it looks like all the gantries are moving as you'd expect. Um, I'm definitely getting a lot of squeaking sort of noises off the uh, the rails as it's moving around. Um, I might just be driving the motors too too fast, uh, so I can probably slow those down. But um, I don't, haven't seen any um, Marlin firmware published yet that uh, indicates how fast the motors should be driven. Um, I'm using quite a high feed rate here. Um, way higher than you'd normally use on a 3D printer. Now I've got the belts tensioned to a reasonable sort of tension. It's quite difficult to show on camera, but they sort of just, just ping. I've noticed that on the Z gantry assembly, the pulley and the belts and cogs stick out quite away from the motor shaft. Um, they're right on the end of it. Um, purely because of the way, the way the belts are aligned. Um, I've uh, taken this away and actually looked at uh, rebuilding this in uh, FreeCAD to uh, flip the where the position of the belt is to the back. So let's fit that and I'll show you what it looks like. So one of the issues with existing design is if you wanted to replace one of the motor mounts, um, or say if you want to put a, a solder paste dispenser on, on one side and the pick and place head on the other, um, you've got to dismantle the whole of this assembly um, including removing the, the, the uh, Z belt. The other issue to be aware of if you're remove, re removing these gantries is the uh, pulley blocks may actually fall straight off the end of the linear rails and if that happens all the ball bearings are going to go everywhere and um, you're going to have a hard time on your hands. Um, what I generally try and do is just clip a clamp of some sort or you can undo the bottom bolt um, or screw to uh, prevent that happening. If I now take this one off, excuse my hands getting in the way of the lens. It's a bit difficult to do this and film at the same time. If you wanted to actually replace this without this change I've made, you're going to have to remove all of this every time you want to replace something on the Z axis. And then you've got to take the belt off as well. So straight away you've lost the tension on the belt. 
and as you can see that this this wants to fall down and um, so if that wasn't stopping it then um, the the blocks would have fallen off by now so interestingly that bolt is also really loose so that must be just what sort of waiting to fall off I've actually designed a, a back um, a new back plate for this with uh, a larger cut hole out in the middle uh, which actually just makes it uh, quicker to print um, it also fixes the issues with the nut, nut sizes on the back of the mount um, which are, should be um, for m3 nuts right so i'm halfway through we're replacing this back plate um, so as you can see from this one the difference with this one is it's got a big bigger cutout in the middle of it um, I, I i didn't really need to uh, reprint this this piece but my old one had a slight warp at the bottom of it um, so uh, I was just trying to get rid of that and I thought at the same time I might as well add a cutout which uh, saves me about 30 minutes in print time. Um, so I've stopped the video, or so I'll stop the process here just to uh, remind people that um, this is the only opportunity you've got to actually t tension the, the uh, bottom nut and the bolt on this um, because once you actually put the bottom pulley on when this piece goes in, in there, you can't retension the gantry anymore. Uh, and likewise, once the camera mount's not fitted, that also prevents you uh, accessing the, the bottom bolts. So I think in some point that design probably needs to be re revisited, uh, but it is quite a difficult problem to solve. Right, so I've got the linear bearings back on. I've, um, I've left the bottom bolts long just so the uh, blocks don't fall off. Um, these are the old parts, which we don't actually need anymore. So um, got the two spindle mounts um, and the bearing. So we're still, still gonna need that, but we don't need that long bolt. So that's now dropped to a smaller bolt, which is a 25 millimeter. And instead of the spacer, I'm just using a couple of M5 washers because the whole gantry moves further back. So I should be able to screw that on. I'm using a nylock washer on the back of this. So I shall just go and tighten that up. Okay, so I'm using the same belt as I had before, but this time there's two new parts which go onto the, uh, the pulley blocks themselves. And it's probably easier to actually assemble the belt um, without uh, putting it on the machine first. So what I'm gonna do with this, uh, this one's on the left, so I shall just randomly push um, this belt into the grooves, similar to what it does before. And then the other end, I'm going to loop over and put about half and half in this, basically the same as, as, as it was set up originally. And you can see where this is going now, so those basically will sit on those, those blocks permanently going forward. Oops. Now it's the top left and the top right of these pulley blocks now have the screw in them. So you can see how that works. I'll just check it's all level and straight. So I've not tightened the uh, motor up yet, so we can still get some extra tension on that if we need to. But it feels pretty, pretty good to me at the moment. So I can now replace these without any risk of... It sounds like it's absolute monsoon outside, but anyway. British weather for you. Even in the middle of summer, it rains. So that's that one done. So as you can see now, you can actually dismantle most of the gantry without the risk of the uh, linear blocks falling off. So you can see how this works now, um, in that you can dismantle most of the gantry without actually needing to uh, take the blocks off or the belts off. So you can leave all that all that tensioned up without uh, disturbing too much. Um, the uh, front mounts then just basically screw onto the top of these as they did before. 
the screws are slightly longer. Okay, so what you can see here is the assembled gantries. And they work very similar to as they worked before. If you look at the top now though, you can see how close the motor mount is to the belt. So that's got rid of all that gap and that tension on the belt. Now the really observant of you may have noticed that there's two extra holes on top of this new back plate. And for those you can screw in an M3 bolt. So once you've got the screws in, you can then put this on, which is nothing more than a vanity cover that goes over the top and just makes it look a bit smarter. All these changes I've submitted on through GitHub as a pull request over to the official project and uh, they're waiting on Stephen's approval for them. Um, so they may not make it into the main, main uh, machine, but we'll, we'll see. That just about sums up this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see uh, regular contents for this. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.